As we know, no two people carry the same gear, and certainly no two people carry the gear the same way. But I'll throw in my tuppence worth on how I carry my stuff, and it might give you a few tips on what you can do. So first of all, I carry a standard Vietnam era H harness. I find that really good, particularly in, in summer, in that my back stays free and to sweat, and I don't get that horrible cold back when you take your pack off to have morning tea or lunch. The rest is fairly standard. I've got a Australian issue canteen with cover and my canteen cup and canteen stove is in there. A genuine imitation, I think they call it a saw pouch or a mamimi pouch. And that's enough to hold my morning tea and lunch in my little metho stove. An ammo pouch I use to hold another water bottle. On the edges I've got some insect spray and the alcohol from my alcohol stove, methylated spirits we call it here. I don't particularly like carrying things on the outside of my pack but I even hate um, spilt things in my pack even more. And lastly, a thing that's not even pretending to be military and that's got my binoculars, a first aid kit in it, a GPS beacon, pocket knife, that sort of stuff, or those little nicks and necks that we all like to carry but probably don't use very often. So with the, the water bottle in the, the ammo pouch, I open that, you can see it fits in nicely but it leaves a lot of space around the outside. So I'll show you a couple of tips of what you can do with that space. All right, firstly, we can take that water bottle out, slips in nicely, and we can put in another one liter decor bottle. And that gives us lots of room down the side here, where you can put in some chocolate bars, food, that sort of stuff. But another tip is using a wine cask. So here we've got exactly the same pouch but inside, instead of a water bottle, I've put in a two litre wine cask. Unfortunately, I've drunk all the wine out of it and it's just water now. But the trick is, if you put the cask in first and then fill it up, it fills up all the spaces in the pouch and you can get the full two litres in with a little bit of extra space there. And that's quite handy, gives you that extra litre for a hot day. We have used it on things like we've been on a boat trip where they've dropped us off on an island for the day and you need that extra water where you're not walking very far but you'll need that extra water. We've actually used a four litre wine cask in that case. So a couple of tips for you. I'll leave a description in the link below from uh, Stuart Edward White, I think his name is, from 1906 and he goes into a very clever way of deciding what to carry and how to carry it but basically his idea is next time you come back from a trip Create three piles. One pile of the things that you used every day, or just about every day. Pile number two for things you used occasionally. And pile number three for things you never used. Then you said for your next trip, only take the things in pile one. Well, I hope that helps. I'll leave you with one more tip on how I create some shade and some wind protection. And we'll catch you next time for Canteen Cup Tuesdays, Thirsty Thursdays, and anything else I can think of. If you walk in the same place quite frequently like I do. I spend most days out here in the common. There's things that you can use that the parks department supply for you. So here's the handrail of a boardwalk and lookout. So what I've got is a pegless clothesline. I just attach that to the boardwalk handrail, feed through the twist a piece of cloth and that provides me with some shade. Also provides me with some wind shelter because my alcohol stove can be a bit fussy in the, the wind. The piece of cloth is really quite light. It's a souvenir from the Cook Islands. It's a wraparound Peru or sarong, whatever you want to call it. And so I use that to drape over my legs on days when it's a bit cool to sit, but too hot to be walking with long trousers on. I can drape it around me damp and that'll keep me cool in, in summer. So there's lots of uses for it. Sometimes I just sit on it um, as, a, as a cushion. So something to think about different ways you can use what's provided for you.